Uh, Matt Rivers here out in uh, Logan County. We're outside of Bell Fountain, uh, kind of between Bell Fountain and Marysville. Uh, we're Ohio's largest ski and snowboard resort. And, uh, we've got about 144 acres here of uh, pristine winter environment out here in the middle of Ohio. We have about 33% of our terrain is beginner, 33 is intermediate, another 33 is, is on the, uh, I would say, advanced level where you have uh, your terrain parks, your big airs, and, uh, and then you have a little bit more of a steeper terrain and glades. I mean, it's just the best place around. The effort that they put in here into building uh, fun rails and jumps for everybody is really top notch. The sport that I've been uh, participating in for a long time now, it's, it'll be cool to see on TV. Seeing um, the progression of winter sports, action sports, I thought that uh, slope style was a natural fit for the Olympics. Um, you know, half pipe has, has been in there for a long time, and uh, slope style, you know, is actually geared more towards a lot more people. Um, a lot of ski resorts across the country have the slope style kind, uh, kind of jumps and rails that you're going to see in the Olympics. It's it's pretty amazing when they're going upside down twice, spinning three, four times around. I can't do any of that stuff they're doing, you know. Um, I might have a little bit better perspective on it having, you know, tried some easier things, but it really is pretty amazing. I think the public is gonna really like this event. And both sides of the spectrum too. Skiers can do, uh, you know, crazy amount of tricks and snowboards can do the same thing. You know, skiers, it, they're they're both really different. I mean, it, it's just amazing the tricks that skiers can do and, and, and the tricks that snowboarders can do. Um, and, and the competition, it's great that they have both men and women. Uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna offer the Olympics a brand new sport that I think is really gonna it's going to show a lot of people why it should have been in the Olympics for years, honestly. There's some negative publicity about it with it being just like a punk sport or fringe sport. So I just hope that people watch it with an open mind and try to appreciate it for what it is. Every time Morgan Hosbrow gets on the ice, she proves the bigger part of the word disability is ability. You may see us with a disability when we're off the ice, but I know that as soon as we get on the ice, we're an athlete no matter what. This athlete who happens to be partially paralyzed from the waist down just a 